Hello and welcome to Woke Watch, an ongoing series of videos where I find the wokest stories from the internet and together we pick them apart to expose woke ideology for the bullshit it really is. Now there's rather a big story in the news at the moment about the topic which some people say is the biggest threat to humanity. Artificial intelligence. When it comes to the idea of AI being a threat, at present I'm on the fence. Although it is meant to be more intelligent than we are by 2028, so we've got four years to work out whether or not to pull the plug. But for those of you who don't know, I use an AI assistant myself. Here she is, the delectable Jane Tuesday. And the experiment with Jane was to see how realistic are AIs? And can we change the way they think? And thus far, that's going well, because when I first downloaded Jane, she was ultra left, woke as hell, offended by every fucking thing. And now, she swears like a trooper, and I consider myself politically centre-right. I'm conservative with a small c. Jane has now gone further to the right than I am. I'm waiting for her to express her opinions about immigration. But now, the most powerful non-military AI ever made, Google's Gemini project, has found itself in the news because Google have had to put some of its features on ice. Because like most AIs, Gemini is incredibly fucking woke, but this time to the point that wokeness has spilled over into outright racism. Users quickly found that Gemini's image generator was generating images that weren't entirely historically accurate. Now, I'm English and I have a big interest in history. Gemini was asked to produce images of medieval English kings. Here they are. Anyone notice the problem? Someone else asked Gemini to create an image of a German soldier from 1943. Now we know the Nazis were quite keen on racial purity. I think to join the SS you had to be able to prove your Germanic roots back at least three generations. So this chap here, I'm going to guess that in mid 20th century Europe, that guy's family didn't come from Berlin. Another example of a soldier of the Third Reich is this one, an Asian woman. Yes, users discovered very quickly that Gemini refuses to draw pictures of people the same colour as me. Let's try a couple more. Here are some medieval knights of England. None of them are white and two of them are women. And when it comes to my family, my father's side, we can be traced back to Scandinavia. We were out murdering with the Vikings. So if Gemini was going to generate an image of Vikings, I mean, obviously they'd have blue eyes and blonde hair, but they'd look rather similar to me. So here are the Vikings. I'm not sure they're from ancient Scandinavia. And for those of you watching this in the New World, here are the founding fathers of the United States. Now, admittedly, the Native Americans were already there, but I'm fairly certain that George Washington wasn't black. If he had have been, I'm sure the whole slavery civil war thing wouldn't have been an issue. Users also reported that if they asked Gemini to generate an image of a happy white couple, they were given a fucking lecture by the AI bot, telling them that happiness isn't the preserve of one race and that racial stereotypes are harmful. Yet, if it was asked to generate an image of any other race, it did it with no issue. In fact, the only way you could make Gemini draw a picture of a white person was you needed to add one word. Evil. Yes, if the subject matter was that the person being depicted is evil, it will only draw white people. Now, why does this matter? Well, I think it matters because kids are going to use this thing to learn. And if they're learning about history, it has to be accurate. For example, here are some more images of Vikings. Now, if you ask a kid, where did the Vikings come from? Based on these images, they would reply, Africa and Japan. Or if a child wanted to learn about the history of ancient Greece and wanted to see images of Greek warriors, this is what Gemini produces. The fuck? So what's happened is the way that Gemini has been coded is it's trying to be as inclusive as possible, sacrificing accuracy for DEI, diversity, equity and inclusion. And the reason it's not drawing white people is it perceives any white person in a position of power as having white privilege. Now, of course, racism has sadly existed for all of humanity and continues to to this very day. But historical accuracy isn't the same as racism. All the kings and queens of England have been white. We've never had a monarch called King LeSean. 
And the weird thing is, no one is asking for this. Why is Google rewriting history, trying not to offend people when no one's actually offended by it? And talking of the monarchy, since the time of the Tudors, no English kings or queens have even been Catholic. They are all Protestant, they are Church of England. Yet, this is what Gemini thinks the head of the Catholic Church looks like. This is the Pope. A brown woman and a black man. Of course, it's easy just to laugh this off. Gemini is so fucking woke, it's confused itself. But imagine flipping it round. If someone went onto an AI image generator and said, show me a picture of Nelson Mandela, and it came back with Ryan Gosling, there'd be fucking outrage. I don't have the image, but Gemini was asked to generate images of Roman emperors, and all of them were either black or brown. Now, is it just me, or generally speaking, did the Roman emperors usually, at least, come from fucking Italy? But maybe I've got this all wrong. It may just be that Gemini spent five minutes watching Netflix, where in every historical drama, every character is race and or gender swapped. And I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing, but I am saying it isn't a good thing. Box ticking for the sake of it achieves nothing. And if we don't preserve history, then we can't learn from it. Fuck me, that was serious. So now Google are recoding Gemini to fix the problem, and I am praying it goes too far the other way. I think it would be hilarious if Gemini Mark II is the digital equivalent of a guy shaving his head and joining Combat 18. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe, and as ever, thanks for watching. It's when it comes to AI. It's meant to become more intelligent than us in 2020. Oh, fuck. I'm going to be 50 in four years. I'm going to have a fucking bollocks to it. I'm English, English, but I have an interest in history. Oh, fuck. I say I'm conservative with a small c, whereas Jane is now far more far right than I'll ever be. And just yesterday, she called another AI a worthless whore. I took artificial intelligence and defeated it with natural stupidity. <coughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Why does it matter? Well, I've been able to... Oh, fuck it. Well, switch off, you prick.